Hi, I'm Alex from Ratings.com. We've bought and tested more than 300 TVs, including more than 40 in 2021. We evaluate them all on our standardized test bench to see how they compare and which one you should buy. In this video, we'll be looking at the five best TVs for watching movies available in early 2022. Now, this is a simplified recommendation. We take into account the performance, price, and availability. Also, keep in mind that these are 2021 models, as 2022 models are just starting to come out, and even if they're out, it doesn't mean they're definitely better than their 2021 counterparts. You can find 2021 models for cheaper, so while they're still available, they still provide great value. Start here to narrow down your options, and then dig into the details. If you do want to learn more, then check out the linked video reviews or the detailed written reviews and comparison tools on our website. When watching movies, it's important to have a good contrast ratio. If you usually watch movies in the dark, having a high contrast ratio allows you to see deep, dark blacks. This is important because you'll see movies the way the creator intended, with details in dark areas that you wouldn't see in a bright room, or if the TV has a low contrast ratio. A good local dimming feature improves the picture quality in dark scenes too. If you watch HDR movies, you'll want something that gets bright so highlights pop. It's also important for the TV to have good upscaling, especially if you watch DVDs or Blu-rays. Firstly, the Sony A90J is our top OLED pick with an incredible movie experience. OLEDs are known for their fantastic picture quality, especially in the dark. They turn each pixel on and off on their own, resulting in a near-infinite contrast ratio. There's no blooming around bright objects either. It also has great image processing with fantastic grading and handling, so you won't see banding in scenes with shades of similar colors. It has a decent peak brightness in HDR, and it's brighter than most OLEDs, but highlights won't pop like on an LED TV. If you're looking for the same excellent picture quality that OLEDs offer, but you want something cheaper, then the LG C1 is a good alternative. Normally, we recommend the LG C1 as the best all-around OLED because it's versatile, but if you're just watching movies, the A90J is the better choice. The LG doesn't get as bright and it has worse gradient handling, but it still has fantastic performance for watching movies. Also, it has better gaming performance with lower input lag, so get this if you're also going to game on the side. Quick disclaimer though, OLED TVs have a risk of permanent burn-in, but this isn't a problem if you watch movies. If you want something that gets brighter to make highlights more vivid in HDR, then get an LED TV. The Hisense U90G is fantastic for movies, and it's better than most LED TVs we've tested. It's unique because it uses dual panel technology, and it has the best contrast we've seen on any LED TV. Its darkroom performance is almost as good as an OLED, and the local dimming feature is outstanding. It delivers a wide color gamut and small highlights stand out in HDR. Unfortunately, it's only available in a 75 inch size and its gradient handling isn't anything special. There's noticeable banding with most gradients. If you want something smaller, then check out the Samsung QN90A, which is available in a wide range of sizes. It gets even brighter than the Hisense U90G because it has a mini LED backlighting, so the HDR brightness is simply remarkable. Its black levels aren't as good as on the Hisense, and it has more blooming around bright objects, but it's still excellent for watching movies. Now, these are all high-end TVs. If you're after a budget model, then check out the Hisense U6G. It provides great value for the cost, as the picture quality is very good. It has a VA panel with a high native contrast ratio, and the full array local dimming feature is decent. It also has all right HDR peak brightness, and it doesn't have upscaling problems. Of course, you're not getting the same features or performance as the higher end models, but that's normal for a budget TV. Other great budget options include the Vizio M7 series Quantum 2021 and the TCL 5 series S546 2021. They're both great for watching movies in dark rooms, but they're not as well rounded as the Hisense. The Vizio doesn't get bright and the TCL has upscaling issues. We've done videos on all of these models and many more, so check them out in the YouTube cards for more information or find the links in the description below. There are a number of TVs that are still great options but didn't make our pick. The Sony A80J is a fantastic OLED, but performance is similar to the LG C1 at a higher price. Still, it has better image processing if you don't mind spending a bit more for that. The Hisense U8G is an excellent LED TV for watching movies. It's even cheaper than the Samsung QN90A, so get this if you want to save a bit of money, but it doesn't have mini LED backlighting, so it doesn't get as bright, and it has a lower contrast with local dimming enabled. As we already mentioned at the start of this video, these are all 2021 models. You can find them for cheaper while you're waiting for the 2022 models to come out. 
2022 seems to be an exciting year for TVs with new QD OLED TVs coming out. These are meant to further improve the brightness of OLEDs, but it's yet to be seen if that's the case. While these TVs have the potential to deliver the best movie experience possible, don't wait on buying one. They're going to be rare and costly, and you can already get fantastic performance with the standard OLEDs. So what do you think of these picks? If you end up buying one of them, let us know in the comments down below.